Yo, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Shadower, aka one of the best hard lotus bossing mules in Maple Story. Now, in today's video, we're going to show you guys how to boss, what nodes to use, how to burst properly. So first things first, let's just go over the equips that we are using on this Blackheart Farmer so you guys have an idea of what damage you can expect from this class. We have a 17 superior ring, a vent ring, a vent ring, 17 star Arcana's treasure, pink bean cup 20 star superior belt 17 star arcane 17 star solid pendant 17 star superior pendant 20 star minus three cooldown hat 20 star twilight 18 star pat mark 20 star cra's and then 17 star arcanes 20 star superior earring a two and a half line emblem and a 20 star demo shield i highly recommend getting this shield if you are going to make a black heart farmer or even just a regular lotus normal lotus farmer now these are the nodes that we use the nodes are max keep that in mind i do know that nodes are very hard to access but if you're making a hard lotus farmer you probably have a bunch of nodes the trios that we use on this class are miso explosion assassinate cruel stab paired with sudden raid dark flare and shadow veil last but definitely not least we have 700 arcane force which is very very useful to have on any hard lotus farmer definitely get your arcane force up this is going to help you out a ton but now that we got the gear out of the way let's talk about shadow as an overall class now first things first the shadower is a dark side class which is one of the most important things to think about when making a hard lotus mule how good is it inside of the boss and for shadower sake it is one of the best now Dark side allows you to negate a ton of mechanics inside of Lotus, like all of the debris falling, the big one hit KO trains, as well as just allowing you to play a little bit more chill than you would on a non Dark side class. Now, speaking of Shadower's kit, Shadower also has a skill called Trick Blade. Now, this is one of the best, if not the best, skills on Shadower. It is a very low cooldown 14 second skill that does a ton of damage, but also gives you a 1.8 second iframe this skill is affected by a cooldown hat or if you are confused how to use trick blade essentially you have to have three assassinate stacks above the boss's head and after your assassinate you then pair it with trick blade shadow also has smoke screen which completely negates Lotus lasers. The skill is very good in situations where you have no bind, you don't have any platforms, you're in a sticky situation. Pairing that with Shadowers Assassinate, which is a super stance, which means you cannot get pushed by Lotus, just adds on to how good this class truly is. The damage output is also phenomenal on Shadower. This class is absolutely perfect for hard Lotus. It has its burst skill, Sonic Blow, which is once again a super stance allows you to burst and not be punished this skill also can be paired with trick blade so essentially you can use sonic blow and while sonic blow is going off you can actually press your trick blade and it will chain trick blade after your sonic blow try not to use it too early though because it will cancel your sonic blow so you want to wait till the very end of sonic blow to use trick blade with this once again very good skill allowing you to be in iframe right after burst so let's talk about how to properly burst on shadower because this class definitely needs to play well to get the most out of it if you guys aren't aware shadower actually does give 15 percent final damage when you are attacking in dark side so it is crucial to be attacking as much as you can in dark sight and a lot of shadower skills allow you to do just that shadow walker which puts you in dark sight for 30 seconds smoke screen which also allows you to stay in dark sight for 30 seconds and then you also have shadow veil which has a duration of 12 seconds but this skill will allow you to attack in dark sight if you are in the veil now how do you burst on this class properly so what i do is i'll pop maple guy's blessing epic adventure shadow walker ab last resort and then i will use my slash shadow formation sonic blow and trick blade with these skills now when sonic blow comes off of cooldown i will do a mini burst i'll put shadow veil down get in dark sight make sure you are in dark sight use sonic blow pair it with your trick blade and then wait for your cooldowns to come up and then with this burst you're going to be wanting to use smoke screen make sure you are in dark sight pop ab last resort slash shadow formation sonic blow 
and pair that with Trick Blade for that burst. Once again, when your Sonic Blow comes off of cooldown, you're gonna want to put down your Shadow Veil, make sure you're in Dark Sight, and Sonic Blow and Trick Blade once again. Now, you just rinse and repeat. I know that sounds like a ton of information, and it definitely is, but it is worth to burst properly on this class. You are going to do infinitely more damage than you would if you're bursting inefficiently. And it also makes playing this class feel super rhythmic when you're bursting properly and you're not just pressing all of your skills with your head chopped off. Now that we got the burst out of the way, let's talk about a couple more things that I really love about Shadower. Shadower does have a dash skill called Phase Dash, and this is actually very useful for just dodging debris, dodging the push, and overall just getting out of sticky situations fast. Any class that has a dash is very good, especially one with Dark Sight 2. This class also has a skill called Shadow Assault. This is essentially a teleport skill, but you don't have unlimited uses. You have four charges, and this can be used two to four times within a 60 second cooldown beginning after the first hit. This skill also allows you to get out of sticky situations fast. Highly recommend using this if you have to get to a platform quick, or you have a train falling on you and you have to dip out in an instant skill is very very good i also just absolutely love the assassinate animation and how it sounds pairing assassinate with trick blade is just unlike any other skill in the game i think trick blade might be the most satisfying skill if used correctly also one little quick tip make sure you have a blood money passive on while you are bursting make sure you have all of your passives on flip of the coin steel and blood money are going to be your three passives you need to have have on while bossing and yeah that is it for shadower this is one of the most fun bossing mules in the game i highly recommend it if you want a class that is a little bit more active but super super rewarding to play shadower is so good and once again i highly recommend it if you guys play shadower let me know how you like it but anyways that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one peace